Well, we've gotten a lot of emails and calls over the last week from parents with children attending Walnut Hills High School. The school is now using metal detectors, which have caused long lines at the doors, and some students have been late to class. And Jeanette Levy went to the school this morning to find out what's going on. Videos of long lines snaking around Walnut Hills High School have made the rounds on social media. The lines are new, caused by metal detectors set up at some entrances. It takes a very long time to get through them. They move very slowly. Senior Jesse Matelub has seen the coverage of school shootings across the country and it worries her, but she feels the metal detectors are impractical. It doesn't really make me feel safer. In a way, it's just more of an inconvenience to getting to school on time and getting breakfast. All of Cincinnati Public's high schools now have metal detectors similar to these. A school board member says they were installed to keep the students safe and they're still working out some of the bugs. Someone's always going to be upset and I, I personally would rather err on the side of increased safety. CPS board member Mike Morosky says the district has made changes to security in the wake of school shootings. For instance, each school has a security guard now and the district has 15 school resource officers along with 5,000 security cameras. Murawski has received complaints from parents about the lines and understands it might not look good, but he feels the extra security is necessary. It's really, it's really unfortunate that we live in a day and age where we have to have this conversation, um, but it is the day and age in which we live. Curiously, there weren't any lines at the high school this morning because the metal detectors weren't being used. District officials won't say why. One parent said she supports the use of the metal detectors but doesn't think they're being used properly. Jesse Matelub's waiting to see what happens. Who's to say what's going to happen when things get cold and you can't make students wait outside in line for 20 minutes? At Walnut Hills, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. A uh, school district spokesperson tells us today that the plan is to use the metal detectors consistently. Students have been dropped off earlier to help with getting into school, but it is possible adjustments could be made during the cold weather time.